but we do have Feb Even uh, joining us here on Rift Rewind, our ESPN League of Legends show. There he is, Feb Even hey. later for Misfits. Very happy after this weekend, including defeating G2. Uh, let's start right there, Feb Even. I mean, it was a very impressive matchup, absolutely dominant from Misfits. But really, just take us into the moment where you knew you won, where you took the Nexus. Like, how did that feel to, to unseat G2 from their undefeated season like that? Uh, felt pretty good, I must say. I think my team played pretty well. So uh, I was kind of surprising. I don't think they played that well, but uh, I guess my team smurfed on them, so. Yeah. Well, that's interesting that you say that because the statistics say otherwise, right? I mean, they didn't have any barons, no dragons. It looked like a dominant performance from the spectator end, but why do you say it wasn't necessarily a great performance within the team? No, I, I mean, I think it was a good performance, but it was still like kind of sloppy, you know? I feel like with the lead we had, we should have been able to close out the game way cleaner, but obviously G2 is like a team that never like always keeps fighting you know so it was it was it was difficult even when we were ahead you know usually when you get ahead you can snowball pretty cleanly against like the other teams you know that are a little bit worse but g2 is like really good at defending but i think that game they actually like caps completely ran it down if you actually defended better i think uh, maybe it would have been way closer how surprised were you and the team with the sona top pick selection uh, I mean, my top lane was like begging for for them to not to pick it, even because he's like he doesn't have any experience against it, and neither do we as a team. But uh, I mean, I don't know. It feels it feels like it's pretty trash to be honest, and he didn't do anything, so he kind of handed the win to us. <laughs> I do want to ask, and obviously you play mid and not AD carry support or jungle, but there was an early dive from Razork in which he died. What Was there sort of a feeling around the team that you all had to play aggressive early against G2, and that was why some of those sloppy decisions early in the game were being made? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, we are kind of an aggressive team, like, by nature, and obviously we know that we have to fight early game because if we don't fight early game we're probably not going to beat them lit mid late game right because of the experience that they have but uh, i think our picks allowed us to play aggressive and we did what we had to do you know uh Febben, your match against vitality walk us through that because that's obviously a different opposite end of the spectrum uh g2 is on the top of the standings vitality is near the bottom what did you think about that matchup? And talk a little bit about the rookies that you play with and the kind of role that you have in guiding them through matches like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was obviously I need to calm some people down after one against G2 because people get really excited and some people weren't even able to, to sleep, you know, but um, it was like just another match for me, you know, I had to make sure the guys were going in with a fresh mindset. It's without thinking about what happened the day before and uh, if we were well like we were well prepared and if we just played our game we would win that one because obviously vitality is really struggling and our baseline is way higher than theirs and uh, yeah I feel like it's kind of my job to make sure that those kind of big wins don't get to my teammates heads and uh, obviously I have to take care of myself as well but that's like uh, the main priority on uh, playing as weaker teams and like better teams. You, you said something very interesting there, needing to calm down your teammates after such an impressive victory, right? Can you just take us into the locker room afterwards? Like, what was the mood like? What were some of the things that were said? How long did you allow the team to sort of relish in the moment before you said, okay, now's the time we got to worry about tomorrow? I mean, obviously, everyone is really happy after we won. I think it was kind of confusing to me because I felt like, um, personally, I didn't have the best game, but my teammates played really well and I actually didn't know what was happening in the game because everything went so fast and all of a sudden Caps had like 8 deaths, so I had to kind of let the game sink in for the night and then the next day, um, you know, I could come in and be more like, I had, I had to use a little bit of reflection time, you know, of the game, but uh, I was coming in fresh the next game. So I want to ask this, uh, Fabivan, last year you were on this Misfits team that was predicted to be a super team, right? You had Soaz, you had yourself, you had Maxlor, Gorilla. 
Uh, you guys were supposed to be it. You were supposed to be one of the best teams. And by midseason, almost all of you were benched. Uh, you know, you and Dan Dan are the remaining pieces of the team that played throughout some part of last season. And you're playing with people like Razork and Dinnick, who fans at large may not be familiar with. Obviously, people familiar with like the the academy and sort of tier two scene in Europe are, are big fans of. But we saw both of them, Razork and Dinnick, perform really well this weekend. I, I want to ask, though, what is the biggest difference from Misfits in 2019 to Misfits in 2020 so far? I think it's the the drive and the passion the players have for the game. I think uh, everyone is really willing, like yeah, everyone is really open this year to like sacrificing and like really trying to understand what it takes because it's not easy, you know. And the weeks are full of stress. You play against really good opponents, especially when you're a new team. I think uh, it's 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 always hard when you when you start out with a new team. But I feel like yeah, the just the coaching staff and the willingness of the players to work smart and hard is really paying off at least in the first weeks. But that doesn't mean that um, we will keep winning. You know, it's like every every day is a new day and every week is a new opponent. You know, so yeah. Fevibin, let's end on this before we let you go. Uh, now atop the table, tied at first there, are Misfits. Uh, how winnable is this split for Misfits? How winnable? Mm, I mean, it all depends, right? I think it's it's definitely winnable. I can I can see us winning it. Uh, it all comes down to, you know, how do we how do we take the wins and the losses? Because right now it's easy to get complacent and be like, okay, guys, you know, we get a lot of praise. Everyone is hyping us up kind of defying the expectations right but uh, I think it just depends how do we how do we move forward from here because honestly going 6-2 in regular uh, split is really whatever for me like I went 18-0 before and I know how that feels I've also lost many times before so I kind of have an idea how I want to um, go forward with my team and uh, make sure we we do well in playoffs